it wasn't the beginning of the end. But the end, but it's the week is st still not over, so. Excuse how I look. I was just having a crying session. Ryan got evicted. And a part of me was kind of expecting it, but it still really, really hurt. I knew this game had to pick up sometime, and by fucking golly, the day has arrived. I had every intention of evicting Ryan this round. Um, I had that three person alliance of me and him and Kirsten. But it was very one-sided. He and Kirsten are a tight duo, and he was relying on that in this game. He didn't make enough of an effort with other people. He didn't talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. He didn't try with me until he needed me. And I knew that he didn't have my back down the road. And I knew about his other side shit with Kirsten that she was truthful to me about, but he was not. So Ryan goes, which was sad. He was very upset. He tried to campaign to me, but it was a little bit too little too late. So I had told Sam that I, and Jermaine that I was voting to evict Ryan. Jermaine was totally on board. Sam... He was trying to talk us out of it, and we explained our reasons, which were that Ryan was going around telling people that I'm a giant threat, that Jermaine's a giant threat, that he was telling people about our alliance. Originally, I felt bad because he was, like, tearing up and obviously very upset about it, but then he, like, full-on name said, Jermaine and I are snakes. Because we had this Teacher's Pet Alliance thing? You mean the one that you kept going around telling people about? That one? I was, I was supposed to stay true to that, but you didn't have to. Oh, okay, got it, good. No way! You can't call me a snake for being on to the fact that you're coming after me and then doing something about it. A, that's the game, and B, sorry that I got there first, but in your speech, when you said that if you had won HOH, Jermaine and I were going up, yeah, kind of solidified for me and everyone else who were trying to make me look like a snake to, that in fact the snake was you. He came to me and he was like, all right, I have Sam and Kirsten's vote. I need one more. Can I count on you? And I was like, dude, you're leaving. He was leaving in two minutes. I was going to be honest as he walked out the door. And he goes, Katie and Jermaine are voting me? And I said, yes. Right after eviction, Katie runs to me. And she goes, Patrick, what the fuck did you do? And I was like, what? And she goes, you went and ratted out that we were going to vote him? And I was like, yeah. She goes, well, he and Kirsten ran to Sam and said that you guys, and said that you initiated it and and threw Ryan and Kirsten on and threw uh Jermaine and Kitty under the bus and I was like not the case at all they approached me and I just confirmed it calmed Katie down told her that I would do damage control with Jermaine and Sam and not even damage control just tell the truth because Ryan was doing whatever he could to save votes so he ran around exposing his whatever alliance with the five of them that Sam is still declining to me even though multiple people have told me about it but whatever um, I think she's a saboteur. I think she knows this game way better than she says. She's throwing out lingo like double eviction, backdoor. Mm -mm. She said she doesn't know this game. She knows this fucking game and she's a saboteur. I'm calling it right here. Decided that I had to do some damage control. Went on call with Kirsten and said, look, here's what I did. I'm not sorry I did it. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but I know you and Ryan are close. Now she made it sound like it was all Ryan saying it, which isn't true, but I'm going to let her do that. So I was very real with her, told her exactly my thinking, why I did it, how I felt, and it seemed like we had a really good conversation. Then Sam comes to me and said that Kirsten said I was a fake bitch and that uh, she's going to string me along but like doesn't trust me. Totally fair, but I was real with you. You apparently were the one that was fake with me. These people are hypocrites. What's up with that? Then apparently Kirsten talked to Patrick after her combo with Sam and said that she's not targeting me probably because of what Sam said. Patrick said I was a miracle worker. I know it's Sam. And then today's the fast forward week. I told everybody in all of my alliances, so Sam, Jermaine, Patrick, I told them all that I was going to go for HOH. Fuck no, I'm throwing the shit out of this HOH. I cannot win. Who would I put up? The only person that I could legitimately put up would be Jason, and he even said he wanted to work with me. But then I'd have to put someone up beside him. If I do Kirsten now, I do look like a total fake douchebag. And... I don't want to do that. Yeah, Kirsten was 
originally my target with Ryan. I wanted Ryan out first, but like she was grouped in there and I totally would be okay with her going home. I just don't think I can be the one to put her up. I think I've already had enough bad press for one week. I need to like chill under the radar. So I think I'm going to throw it. Going to see how tonight goes. And if this is my last DR because people are screwing me over then. <laughs> oh, sorry, but probably shouldn't have thrown it. <laughs> Somehow I convinced Katie and Jermaine not to evict me. This is a great feeling. I don't know if I want to even try to win HOH. I'm really, like, I'm really not sure what is my best plan of action right now, simply because of the way things just went. I have an alliance with almost everyone in this house, other than the only person who can't win fucking HOH next week is Sam. But she hasn't yet, and I don't think she will. I'm just trying to figure out where I should go from here, because I have so many different options. I'm kind of realizing maybe... Even though, like, my closest ally pretty much got out, I still have a chance of making it far. And not only because of the beauty beside me. This couldn't have come at a better time. I mean, I wish I could have used it tonight, but at the end of the day, sometimes you have to make sacrifices and go through hardships and be at the bottom in order to rise up. And I feel like now that maybe I've hit my low of feeling completely empty and alone in this game. I will be able to maneuver through it and fight for my place in this game. So after everything was revealed, the vote and whatnot, Katie called me and we talked for a bit and she said that the reason why Ryan was getting, like, got voted out was because people were saying that we were very sketchy and throwing her name around. And I mean, I don't fully remember throwing her name around, but I wouldn't be surprised that Ryan did because while he was my closest pretty much ally and he talked to me a lot, he didn't talk to a lot of other people. I can see why that was really sketchy. Katie mentioned that she still wanted to work with myself, Sam and Jermaine. I know I can't completely trust them, but Katie seemed like she was genuine in our conversation and that she did want to work with me. I talked to Sam and we both agreed that we're pretty much alone, like a thousand percent, and this is all we have, so we might as well take it. I've talked to Jason as well, and I knew I did do damage control with him because obviously like I voted him out, like I put a vote against him, but... Thankfully, he said he has no hard feelings, and I do believe what he says. I'm talking to Patrick, and I know while he, like, apologizes for getting Ryan out, I know a part of him is, like, happy he's gone. I'm kind of angry at him for not even, like, talking to me about it. And he saw, like, my number one, and I, like, I have to believe in what he says, that he's not with anybody else. At the end of the day, I'm here to fight, and I'm here to bring justice and I'm here to get payback for what happened with Ryan and I'm so so sad deep down that he's gone but I'm not here to sit down and cry I'm here to fight and you know what I will do whatever it takes to make sure that I get my revenge we've got the next HOH fast forward here in about 18 minutes Ryan got voted out by a vote of four to two. Sounds like Sam and Kirsten were the two that voted for Jason. Uh, so all my duders, uh, all my ducks were in a row. Everybody did what they said they were gonna do. Patrick, Katie, Jermaine being the ones I was, you know, really hoping to see on my side. Willie being there too. This fast forward round coming right after my HOH. You know, it's not ideal. You know, this round is gonna go fast, so if the wrong person wins this next head of household, I'm in big trouble. Oh, and you know, and if, and if I get nominated, there's no time to campaign, there's no time to, to move. What the work you've done socially is what's going to determine whether or not you get voted out tonight. But that being said, I think I've done the work. I think I've done the good social work to keep me in good graces with enough people. All right, <laughs> thank you everybody for being here and welcome to your fast forward week. My name is Keith Guerrero, your host for tonight's festivities. We're going to go directly into your head of household competition. Mike, as outgoing HOH, you are not competing. The name of this HOH competition is Basics Jams. 
Your host, Keith, has been busy in the recording studio singing some songs about some previous competitions. So you're going to have to figure out if the song is, that is being sung is either a head of household competition, a power of veto competition, or a competition that does not exist. Two people will randomly be selected to begin, and those two people will be facing off, and they will listen to a song. So whoever submits their answer first is the one that I will be looking at. If they are correct, they stay in the competition and the other person is eliminated. If it is incorrect, that person themselves are eliminated. The person that remains gets to pick the next two people to compete. We will continue this process until we are down to one person who will become this fast forward's head of household. Mike, as outgoing HOH, selected two numbers between, between one and seven, which will represent the two people that will start. He selected number two and number three, Willie, Jason. So Jason and Willie will be facing off round one. We're going to start in three, two, one, begin. This competition, it's a race to the finish. You're competing in teams, and you both want to win it. Gotta do jumping jacks, maybe solve a quick puzzle. First team with four points will open envelopes. Jason, you have submitted HOH. That is correct. Willie, you have been eliminated. Please leave the Google Hangout. Jason, please select the next two people to compete. Sam and Jermaine. Here is song number two. Gotta throw your ball into the bin. The person who scores the most points will win. Who knew the wheel would be covered in goop? And that you're on a platform that will spin. Uh, Sam, you submitted POV. That is incorrect. The correct answer was DNE. You may leave the Google Hangout, Sam. Jermaine, please select the next two people to compete. Um, Jason and Kirsten. Here is your next song. In this competition, you think you go to bed because of the loom and story, story playing in your head. Got to answer questions right to get the right number so you can break the lock. Ain't got no time for slumber. Kirsten submitted HOH. That is incorrect. The correct answer was POV. Kirsten, you may leave the Google Hangout. Jason, you're touched by an angel on that one. Please select the next two house guests to compete. Uh, Jermaine and Katie. Your song will begin shortly. <laughs> Here we go. Gotta do this numerical flow. Answer questions one through ten. Then it got converted to one hundred rand. Had to get the average score. If you're too far off, you're out the door. Katie, you submitted D N E. That is incorrect. The correct answer was H O H. You may leave the Google Hangout. Jermaine, since you won that round, you automatically go to the final round. It is now down between Jason and Patrick for this round. So Jason, Patrick, your next song will begin shortly. I never thought endurance would be like this. A man, this misogynist. Got us spinning, 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 round and round, until all but one of us fall down. Jason, you submitted HOH. That is correct. Patrick, I'm sorry, you've been eliminated. You may leave this Google Hangout. We are down to the final round between Jermaine and Jason. One of you will be head of household. Your song will begin now. Final round and final countdown. Who's going to win this head of household? Best of luck, you two. Now this round is here for you. Hey, yo, the answer to a question is a certain house guest. Gotta rummage through the backyard like you're not a hot mess. Only the right name will satisfy his appetite. Oh, Ted, oh, Ted, tell me, did I get it right? Jason, you submitted D-N-E, and you are correct, which means congratulations, Jason. You are the winner of this Fast Forward H-O-H. Congratulations. You'll have a few minutes to strategize, and then we'll bring everybody in for the nomination ceremony. So, Jason, uh, because this is a fast-forward HOH, there is no key ceremony. Simply face the house guests and announce your decision. Um, all right, guys. Uh, this is a bit of a hard decision. Uh, there's really no real way around this. Uh, to keep it nice and short, I have decided to nominate 
you, Sam, and you, Mike, for eviction. Mike, you nominated me last week. Uh, that covers that basis. Sam, uh, you did evict me last week, so that covers that basis. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. It's time to pick players for the veto competition. Katie. Uh, Patrick. Jermaine. Thank you, everybody. The competition will begin momentarily. Welcome to your Power Veto competition. It is called 12. The way that this works, each of you will receive the numbers 1 through 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Every single one of you has these numbers. Here's how you play. Every single round, you will each submit one of your 12 numbers. Once you submit that number, you will no longer have that number in your possession. I will collect all six of your numbers. The person with the highest unique number will receive a point for that round. So for example, if Jason and Jermaine both submit the number 12, Mike submits 11, and Katie, Patrick, and Sam all submit 9, 8, and 7, Mike would receive a point that round because 11 is the highest unique number. Also, um, there is a part where um, every other round, uh, it will be numbers given in secret. Uh, so the first round is public, the second round is private, and third round is public, fourth round is private, and we'll alternate. Your goal to win the power of veto is to receive three points. So the first person to receive three points will win this week's golden power of veto. So we will go into round one. Please submit your numbers to me now. Please reveal in three, two, one, reveal. All right, and with 10, congratulations, Sam. You received the first point. Uh, Patrick submitted nine, Jason six, Jermaine three, Mike two, and Katie one. Round two is private. Your submissions will not be revealed publicly. Um, you may submit your answers to me on Skype right now. So this is completely in private. I will simply announce who receives a point this round. Congratulations, Mike you receive a point this round. So right now it is Sam one, Mike one, the rest zero. We are now moving into round number three. Your results will be revealed publicly. Please submit your answer to me on Skype right now. Please reveal what you have submitted via hands in three, two, one. With 12, Sam, you received your second point. Congratulations, Sam. You're at two points. You need one more point to win. Uh, just for everyone's reference, Katie put 8, Jason 7, Patrick 6, Jermaine 5, and Mike 1. Round 4. This round will be kept in secret. Please submit your answers to me on Skype right now. Because this is a private round, I will not reveal who all submitted what. Uh, so the person that received a point this round is Patrick. Congratulations, Patrick. You receive a point. The score is now 2 Sam. One Mike, one Patrick, the rest zero. First to three wins the power of veto. We are now entering our fifth round. Please submit your tile to me via Skype. Because this is a public round, you'll be revealing what you selected via hand signals. You may reveal what you had in three, two, one, reveal. Both. Jason and Katie submitted 12, which means Sam, your 11 wins, and that is your third point. Congratulations, Sam. You are the winner of this week's Golden Power of Veto. Good job, Sam. Congrats, Sam. Thank you. Good job, Sam. All right. You. We will have the veto ceremony shortly. I will send the Google Hangout to everyone in just a bit. All right. If everybody could please go on mute except for Sam. I won the golden power of veto, which means I can remove one of Jason's nominations. I've decided to remove myself. Um, if Jason could please name the replacement. Um, this is unfortunate. Um, I really didn't want to do this. But I essentially have to... Did he leave? Oh, he's back. Uh, uh, I'm going to upset someone here, and I apologize. 
And I'm only going to do it because I, th I, uh, I, will, I will discuss my reasonings with this person afterwards. I apologize because I hope they understand that I love them with all my heart. I think they're a great human being. I'm very, I'm very, very sorry. I still don't know what I'm doing. Be smart, Jason. There is no smart choice here. It's pissing off multiple people. <sighs> we are on live TV, Jason. We need a decision. Ah, <laughs> uh, Julie. Uh, I'm so sorry. Jermaine, I'm so sorry. The veto meeting is adjourned. Let's check in with the house guests now. House guests, Mike and Jermaine have been nominated for eviction. In just a few moments, they will say their final plea. But before we do that, if anybody has a power and would like to use it, now would be the time to do so. You know what? This might be a big mistake, and um, I might regret doing this so early, but I have a diamond power of veto, which essentially means that I can take one of the nominees off the block and save them and replace the nominee with the person of my choice. And I've decided to use this on Mike. And I will be replacing Mike with Katie. And with that, the DPOV has been used. Mike is no longer on the block. Katie, you are now nominated for eviction next to Jermaine. Jermaine and Katie are the final nominees. We will now go into our eviction speeches. Jermaine, you are up first. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, so basically, um, I mean, <laughs> I have really, really enjoyed getting to know all of you. Um, it, it sucks that it had to end up this way, um, but, you know, obviously vote based on what you think is best for your game. Um, no matter what, if I'm leaving, I don't hold it against anybody because at the end of the day, almost all of us do have to walk out the doors, and I actually really do love and respect all of you to some degree, even those who may not necessarily like me. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much. Katie, you may now say your speech to the house guests. Yo, what's up? Um, I'm a little surprised, but that's only because I'm being blindsided by someone who I spoke to yesterday and thought I was good with. So that that's cool. Um, I have had so much fun. This is like my first time ever, and so I've been a little playing with my heart, but I'm cool with whatever happens, and you guys were awesome, and I'm not going to say anything bad about Jermaine, because he's also awesome, so do what you got to do. If I go, that's totally fine, and I respect everybody for that, all right? Ciao. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Please cast your vote to evict. Um, okay. So this is to avenge Ryan. I vote to evict Jermaine. Thank you very much. Please send the Google Hangout link to Patrick. That's one vote Jermaine, zero votes Katie. Hello, Patrick. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Jermaine. Thank you very much. Please send the Google Hangout link to Mike. Hello, Mike. Sorry. Please cast your vote to evict. Uh, I don't know, Keith. This is a really, really effed up round. Um, uh, crap. Um, 
I'm like, I'm, I'm getting information like right now that's like I left need and right. Vote. I need your vote. Need my vote. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I vote to evict. I vote to evict Jermaine. Thank you. Please send the Google Hangout link to Sam. With that, it's official. Jermaine will be leaving the BB Basics house tonight. Let's see how the remaining house guests vote. Hello, Sam. Hi. Please cast your vote to evict. I want to know, in the history of Big Brother, has anyone ever abstained from the vote? I'm sorry. No, there's no abstaining. That's some fucking bullshit. Um, for... Do I have to give a reason or I just say the name? Can I give a reason? Will they see it? No, they won't see it. You can just say, I vote to evict and say the name. I vote to evict Katie. Thank you very much. Please send the Google Hangout link to Willie. Hello, Willie. I didn't know I was playing Back to Basics Canada edition. Like, that's dope. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Jermaine. Thank you very much. You may return to the living room and join your fellow house guests. Let's deliver the news to the house guests now. House guests, the votes are in. When I reveal the vote, the evicted house guest will have just a few moments to gather his or her belongings, say their goodbyes, and walk out the BB Basics doors. By a vote of four to one, Jermaine, you have been evicted from BB Basics. Okay. <laughs> um, like a great, great wise woman who just recently was on Big Brother said, I am not in the business of being mean. I'm not going to say anything ugly or nasty about anybody going out this door. Good luck to everybody left. Whether you want to believe it or not, I really did get, I had so much fun getting to meet all of you. I've had a great time this season. I wish I could have been around longer, um, but it's okay. Like, really, it's okay. Good luck to everybody. Like, you know, I really do love you all. You know, Katie, you know, we've been the most evil duo, like, of all time. But <laughs> I'm going to miss you all so much. I, I don't know. I'm terrible with goodbyes, but... And with that, we are down to our final seven. Tune in on Sunday to find out who will be the next head of household at 10 p.m. Eastern. Congratulations on making it this far. Good luck and good night. Hello, Jermaine. Hey. We set your bags over here. Have okay. you. Wait, this is Fast Forward Week. I don't even have bags packed. That's true. They're packing your shit up right now. <laughs> So what are some of your initial reactions leaving the BB Basics house? <laughs> um, I don't know. I had, like, this really weird feeling, like, all today that it, I'm like, I kid you not, every time, almost almost every time I've played a Big Brother game, I leave on a double eviction. It just never fails. So I wasn't too shocked. Um, you know, hey, um, Jason Smart, I probably would have nominated him had I won HOH. So, and I'm just glad I left this season like winning at least one competition. Goddamn! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're so positive leaving this Basics experience. So, tell me about uh, what you enjoyed in the Basics house. What What have you walking away the season with? Oh my gosh! So, obviously, I'm walking away with like brand new friends. Sam, like I, I, I didn't know what to make of Sam like the first time I met her. And I'm so glad I got to know her because she's like, she's, she's amazing. Um, Katie too, like great, great, great girl. Like I had so much fun. I'm going to miss talking to those two the most. Um, Mike was actually a surprise for me as well. I thought he was going to be kind of like a, I don't know, just kind of like a plain, like kind of douchey regular guy. And He's like kind of he's kind of quirky. I don't know like if he's acting like it just for the game or not. Um, but no, he's fun to talk to as well. And I mean like, you know, sitting listening to Willie make his random jokes. Some of them are funny. Some of them I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, but <laughs> I mean, I just I don't know. I had a good time. It was fun like meeting all these people. 
And Patrick's a great guy as well, too. Um, I'm interested in seeing what unfolds with him in this game. Sure, definitely. Uh, so let's talk about this fast forward of eviction round. It was very action packed. Uh, Jason went from being nominated, surviving eviction, to winning HOH. Um, and you didn't find yourself on the block initially. You were picked to play in the power of veto. Sam won the veto. Did you feel nervous at that time? Did you feel like it could potentially be you going on the block? Yep. Um, and Sam had told me that he told her that if she used the veto on herself, I was going to go up in her place. She didn't want to use the veto. I told her, I said, Sam, are you fucking kidding me? Use the veto on yourself. If I go, I could at least try to campaign and keep myself. But she has busted her ass, and she's been through so much in this game that, like, I can't even, I, I would be, a, I'd be a wreck right now if I was her. So, you know, it just, that's just the way it happened. Um. <laughs> you were initially nominated against Mike, and then out comes Kirsten with the diamond power of veto, and she nominates Katie right next to you. Uh, how did you feel initially against Mike? I mean, how did you feel when Katie got on the block with you? So against Mike, I actually, I was like, okay, there was actually a chance that I might stay with him. Um, I actually thought there was a really good chance that I'm going to stay against him. Uh, when she pulled out that diamond power veto, I was like, oh, fuck, Katie is going up. And I'm like, Katie has, I mean, People, it's hard not to love Katie. It's just, it's so hard not to love her. And I knew, like, not even, you know, like, Patrick would, would be willing to keep me over her, which is fine, especially after the conversation I had with him last night where I basically, without saying it, said I didn't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. So um, there are seven people left in the game. Who do you think will be entering the jury house next. Oh my God. Okay. Well, if she, if, if Sam comes in here next, I'm locking the jury house doors. She's not getting in. Like reset, rewind. Um, but I wouldn't be lying if I didn't say I wasn't worried about her. Um, she's very, very upset right now, I know. And a lot of times I had to talk her down because she would be ready to go off on people. And I'm like, Sam, no, no, no. Sam. I mean, I've, I've done that almost every week with her. Like, Sam, no, calm down. No, Sam, you can't go off on these people. You can't, like, you, you can't let it get to you. So um, she's, oh, I think I might be seeing her next. <laughs> I see. I see. Um, who are you rooting for to win, and who do you think will end up winning the game? So who am I rooting for to win? I'm definitely rooting for Sam to win. Oh, my God, like 150%. Um, I'm definitely rooting for Katie to win. Um, she would have a, she'd have a good case because the girl, like, she is very social, but when it comes time, like, to compete and to get strategic, like, she's – She's down to do it, and so um, I would like to see Sam win. Um, I would like to see Katie win. Who do I think is going to win? Uh, at this rate, at this rate, I really think that Patrick <laughs> is probably going to win. Um, nobody ever mentions his name except for Sam, and me and Sam have had this conversation. Uh, a couple of times, but nobody mentions his name. Uh, I mean, the guy like abstained from an HOH competition at one point and was completely safe and he knew it. So I think he set himself up very well. So <laughs> he probably let's will talk, be winning. So let's talk a little bit about the Teachers Pets Alliance. Uh -huh. <laughs> a group that was put together uh, after the pink team was with each other week one. It was a group that kind of formed afterwards. Uh, but then it started turning on each other. Last week, we got rid of Ryan. Now we're seeing you here. Uh, tell me a little bit about, was it a good decision last week with you going this week? What's it looking like for the teacher's pets? Okay, well, the teacher's pet alliance, let me just say right now, that, that alliance was bullshit from the start, okay? You got two people coming in to, 
you have two people aligning in an alliance with two other people who don't trust each other, it was a fucking mess to begin with. We knew it wasn't real. Like, we all knew, like, yeah, we're an alliance, but we don't want to work together by any means. Come on. That's, that's a fucking mess. I'm glad we voted out Ryan, especially with the way that he behaved on his way out the door. <laughs> Me and Katie were like, well, because we, we actually, we really debated about, you know, maybe we should vote out Jason. I was actually thinking of voting out Jason. Sam wanted to vote out Jason. And Katie was like, no, like, we got to go for Ryan. And I'm like, you know what? I would look like a total and complete idiot if I didn't get this person who's been openly, who's been openly campaigning against me out. And sure enough, as he's going out, he's like, had I won, you two would have been in trouble. And it was like, bam, okay. So glad we went ahead and got you out. So, you know, yeah, I pissed off. Kirsten in the process, but oh well, whatever. <laughs> um, do you have any regrets in the game? No. Um, I'm rusty. I haven't played in three years. Um, I was I was happy to make it even this far because I was like I just I just assumed that I was gonna like face plant and just completely like suck, um, but. No, no regrets, you know. Hey, I did what I could by all means possible. Um, I can, I am happy to leave saying that I tried my hardest the entire time. Um, I'm happy to say that I didn't stoop to a, a petty or childish level permanently. I might have had some little petty moments where I was just kind of like, Argh! which is more so out of frustration. Um, because I like to be in a game where everyone talks, and when I have people in the game who don't talk to me after I repeatedly try to talk to them, that is a little frustrating, but like I said before, that's on them. If they want to play that type of game, they can play that type of clicky, I don't want to deal with you type of game. Me, I always told everybody my options were open, I was open and listening and speaking to everyone, and so I have no guilt on my shoulders leaving. <laughs> sure. Uh, who do you feel frustrated that they made it farther than you? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, the only person I'm like kind of like, Ugh, they outlasted me uh, was Jason, only because I felt like when it came to that social aspect, um, I felt like he was severely lacking, at least on my end. Um, Kirsten didn't play uh, very socially with me at all. Um, I did try numerous times, but like I just said, you know, that's on her. If she makes it to the end, um, <laughs> ah, we'll have fun with jury questioning, man. <laughs> You most definitely will. Thank you so much to play. It was such a pleasure being a host and hosting you throughout this entire process. I loved it. You're an absolute rock star of a player. So classy on your way out. Uh, and again, it was so much fun watching you and uh, being a host. Thank you so much for playing Basics. It would not have been the same without you. You don't have to yell at me anymore about making too long videos now. Diary rooms were golden. I'm going to miss them so much. <laughs> All right, tune in on Sunday to find out who's going to be the next head of household. And Wayne, you're going to be joining Ryan on jury to determine a winner of Big Brother Basics on September 25th. Oh, great.